as we scan the laser. Hi, I'm Brandi Palmer. And I'm Molly Trotter. We're both students at Pacific University, and today we'll be showing you a sample of what Pacific has to offer. Pacific is located in the town of Forest Grove, about a half hour west of Portland and an hour away from the coast. So we're close to the city and really close to a lot of other outdoor activities. Pacific traditions reach back to 1849 when some of the pioneers of this area founded the school. The original building, Old College Hall, still stands today as a museum and a testament to education. All incoming students get to ring the bell as they signify their entrance into the Pacific community, as well as shaking hands with the president. Pacific University has a wide variety of majors in the arts and sciences, and we have a thriving graduate studies program, including the new Hillsborough Health Professions Campus. Pacific's professors are some of the top minds in their fields. Here are just a few of them. So you probably didn't see a lot of bubbling, right? It just kind of like reacted really vigorously, but we did make hydrogen gas. We are doing a periodic properties and descriptive chemistry lab, so the students will take um, different elements from the periodic table and examine um, their relative reactivities, and they get to see color changes and bubbles and fire, and um, it's one of the, the more favored labs in the first semester of general chemistry. So the, the idea is that they compare you know, different elements and how quickly they react or what types of reactions they undergo. So we can actually use our observations to predict what would happen and then see that, hey, we were right. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. I just push them towards each other. My name's Terry O'Day and I teach in the art department at Pacific University. In the art department, um, what you end up with when you're out of here is you have a great portfolio and a resume that's geared toward whatever your area of interest is, wherever you're looking for a job. You got a close relationship, working relationship with your instructors. Um, we all know everybody's name. And the other thing that's really nice is that how well students know each other. You know most of the people that you're going to school with, and it just seems to be really neat. This is the photonics and quantum optics lab in the physics department at Pacific. And generally, we look at how light in the form of laser beams interacts with atoms. One of the interesting things that we've been able to do is we can take the lasers that are out of a CD burner or CD drive and we can take these apart and rebuild them and make uh, actual lasers out of that. So we have three of these set up here that are comparable with several hundred thousand dollar laser systems that were available in the past decade or so. Uh, so right now what we're looking at is how two laser beams can combine and create blue light out of what was red light. And that has interesting applications for telecommunications, uh, quantum information science, other photonics developments. This is all hands-on equipment and hands-on science. It also translates well. Uh, Marcus, as a senior, will be able to use this work for his capstone research project uh, and continue with it, take it in a new direction uh, of his choice. Uh, but the lab's going to be available to either of them through the, throughout the academic year to continue with these projects or, or if they have their own projects to bring into the lab and use uh, this equipment, uh, we're certainly open to that. Small class sizes mean students can spend plenty of one-on-one -on -one time with their professors. They know me by name, um, they're concerned with my schoolwork, um, just, I mean, they're, they've been so helpful to me. Um, if I'm getting down in a class, you know, they'll email me and say, oh, here's what you need to work on, you know, and that, that's just helped me tremendously. And um, I am actually diving more into my schoolwork. The small class size and the teacher being on you more kind of gets you to focus in more on the subject. So I'm 
interested in everything now. We try to keep all of our lab sections less than 24 students so that the instructor is able to get around and um, talk to each student and help them understand the experiment and help them you know, appreciate the chemistry that's happening and get them excited about chemistry. Um, so we, yeah, we really make an effort to give them that one-on-one -on -one attention that Pacific prides itself on. All the professors are extremely supportive, making sure that I'm succeeding in my classes so I can go on to the medical field and they're always willing to help me extra so that I can see, succeed and get there. Wanted to make sure I had my whole college agenda laid out in terms of classes, which was really nice to know that somebody cared that much about my career. What we're doing is we're making quantum dots and they are fluorescent uh, nanoparticles. I started doing research stuff my sophomore year. It's pretty easy to get involved in research, which is really cool. Pacific has a long history of athletics, including a recently added Lincoln Park Stadium. And now with the return of football, on Saturdays it has become a campus-wide celebration. The Boxers have won, it's over. The final Pacific 44, Puget Sound 25. I'm just so proud of these kids. They have put a ton of their heart and soul into this uh, building and, and it's one that these kids for the rest of their lives will be able to hold on to. For students to get involved with activities outside the classroom, from outdoor recreation to various clubs and sports, to travel all over the world. And there's even more recreation opportunities just around the corner at Pacific University Outback. What's it like living on campus? Behind me is Pacific's newest residence hall, Gilbert Hall. Let's go take a look inside. Pacific's state-of-the-art library sits at the center of campus with countless resources for studying any subject. Pacific University is, is small, um, but at the same time it's huge in the fact that you get to actually know and interact with these people on an everyday basis. The relationships that I build so quickly and you know just the opportunities that they give me to succeed. And when they pass by, you know, it's a friendly hello and um, if you need something, they're always there to help you out. Um, they're just an email away, and I think that's huge, and I like it here. We hope you've enjoyed this look at Pacific University. For more information, please visit us at pacificu.edu. We hope to see you here soon.